after the short adjournment. We are now back here to resolve that issue. So if I could uh, call on the council to get us through this morning. Thank you, council. Thank you, commissioner. Um, myself and Mr. Kipper and Mr. Verdamos have um, had a discussion. And for that purpose, if I could ask that Mr. Verdamos be rejoined by video to the um, facilities. Thank you. Um, so, Mr. Verdamos, I've just announced that um, we've had a discussion and I've just requested that you be rejoined by video. Uh, thank you, Mr. Wood. Mr. Commissioner, can you hear me clearly? Yes, I can. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Commissioner. We've had a fruitful discussion with Council assisting as to the way forward, and this is what is proposed subject, of course, to your Commissioner, your Commissioner endorsing it. Um, the way forward will be that um, there will be no need for oral evidence today. Yes. There will be no need for oral evidence. Um, and, and in particular, reading of affidavits or other documents provided to the Commission. Yes. What will happen is we have no objection to the documents um, being marked for identification, being tendered for identification purposes only, not as a formal exhibit. Yes. So um, I appreciate, Ms Commissioner, you're not a lawyer, but it's standard to have two lists. So there'll be an exhibit list and there'll be a separate identification, this document marked for identification. So we have no objection to Mr Kipper having the documents marked for identification with an ID number, ID 1, ID 2, etc., yeah. um, which later can potentially become exhibits, depending on the position taken by the parties. Um, so they will be marked for identification, um, that the documents from the landowners will be provided to Ashurst as previously indicated this morning by 4.06 p.m. this Friday. Yes. Um, Ashurst, will have, Ashurst will have 10 days from the provision of the documents, landowner documents, to consider and advise council assisting in terms of objections to parts or all of the affidavits. Um, that the landowners will be available if required at some time for cross-examination yes. will be made available. Um, and as the landowners have already been directed a couple of times to file written submissions, and as we understand it, although we haven't seen them, um, some or all of them have filed written submissions, there'll be a time limit of 20 minutes in which to make oral submissions by the landowners um, noting that we were to go through five or four landowners today, so it suggested 20 minutes in terms of the submissions. If Mr Kipper could just confirm his understanding of what I've recited as the process forward is correct. Thank you, uh, Council. Uh, Council Assisting. Uh, yes, Commissioner, uh, we've had discussions and I've uh, agreed to the process suggested by uh, Mr uh, uh mostly to save time. Um, and uh, if I could uh, suggest, sorry, I didn't mention this in the discussions, but uh, maybe we could uh, hold off the submissions. Uh, to tomorrow. Okay. okay. Well, I don't have an issue with that, Mr. Kipper. Yes. Commissioner, also for the sake of completeness, um, in terms of the proposed way forward, um, Asher, Asher, with um, Mr. Rudimos, we would take a view about. Um, about any or all of the affidavits and when the matter next returned um, it may be that we wish to cross-examine certain witnesses or we may not um, and then depending on um, the outcome of the return of that matter um, it may be the case that we object to the tendering of a particular affidavit or part of it and then we would propose that the Commissioner with any submissions of council assisting would make it determination whether um, part or all of the affidavit was to be struck out 
or whether part of the affidavit, part or all of the affidavit would be tendered into evidence, in which case, um, if part or all of an affidavit was to be tendered into evidence, it could be then allocated an exhibit number. So the idea would be, it's proposed that today, for example, a document would be marked for identification, but at a later time, you, you, you Commissioner, you would make a determination about when that, whether that affidavit later be tendered into exhibit, and, and tendered into an into evidence and then allocated an exhibit number. That's the, that's the process that we propose. Thank you, Council. Uh, Council Assisting, you mentioned something about the whole of all the submission. What yes. is the way we, forward now we, we for can, this morning? We can call the matters uh, one by one and uh, have the documents uh, 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 sort uh, to be tendered from, to be marked for identification purposes only but the res respective submissions can be done tomorrow. Uh, I'm only saying that because uh, I can't conf confirm whether each of the la all of the landowners have actually filed their submissions at this stage. Yeah. I earlier on gave a direction that uh, all submissions should be submitted on the 14th, uh, 14 or 15. Have all the submissions been uh, delivered to the Commission? If, if, can you come at the front? When directions are issued from here, I expect that people should respond to that and not coming to the hearing not prepared. So have all the submissions been uh, delivered to the Commission as directed? Uh, and explain <coughs> the reason why they, are not, they, they were not delivered. Thank you. Sorry, good morning, your Commissioner. Uh, Council name is Uyasi, initial uh, S, appearing for the, <coughs> for the Lorena clan, <coughs> representing uh, the Rao Namo family, Ikupu Gavara and Namodea Asigao. <coughs> uh, your, sorry, Commissioner, the, my clans have actually submitted all uh, documents that they seek to rely on with the Commission, but uh, Unfortunately, it is not in uh, affidavit uh, format. We've just uh, given uh, document copies. <clears throat> now, we were not uh, actually given direction to file affidavit, so uh, that has not been done. And uh, <clears throat> that is why it is not in affidavit format. Now, the documents that we have lost, we would need to, like from today's... Uh, uh, when you are talking about document, what are you referring to? I'm talking are you about referring the to the evidence, submission or what? Evidential documents that... Uh, Additional document. Evidence. Of evidence hmm. <clears throat> that uh, my clients uh, would like to rely on in their submission. Okay. <clears throat> now, we would need to... After today's uh, earlier this morning's discussions, in fact, we would need time to actually go and identify each document. Uh, like uh, I, I cannot hear clearly. Uh, can I mean, you repeat again? We would need to identify each document. Identify. Yes, identify okay. each document and for exhibit purposes, uh, which then means that uh, we would need time to do that. Therefore, that is why I said that uh, we were not ready with the submissions because uh, unfortunately we are not uh, ready yet to make submissions. We can make submissions, but we would need to uh, submit uh, exhibits to back up uh, Don't our Don't come to the inquiry submission. and start telling the commission that you are not ready. Yes, you know. I, I have issued the direction that submission must be delivered. 
That is the position of the commission. Uh, not and not coming here to explain the reason that you are not ready. Okay, Your Honor, sorry, sorry for my uh, ignorance, but uh, in fact, I only got to learn about uh, today's fixture just uh, this week. So I uh, actually... So uh, to cut it short, uh, you are not ready? That's correct, Your Honor. Okay. Counsel? Hence, uh, my uh, application for all submissions uh, to be done. All, all the submission? Yes. I mean, for, for today's matters, okay. submissions. And today, the documents can be tendered and marked for identification purposes, as I suggested. But the submissions, per se, have to be confirmed be. that they're ready and then yeah. can be done tomorrow with the other matters there. We'll put up to 10 a.m. tomorrow morning when we return back. Mr. Commissioner, can I be heard? Yes. Yeah, sorry, I'm not sure whether I'm heard or not sometimes, sorry. Um, could, could I respectfully make a submission? Um, Mr. Commissioner, you've made a number of directions already about filing of submissions, and you've made it very clear about the position of filing submissions and the pressure, obviously, that you're under to prepare this report within the time frame, and you have a roadmap. If, if the landowners haven't, or in fact anyone, don't prepare submissions by the date directed, not once but twice, then we respectfully submit that what should happen tomorrow is that they're given 20 minutes to make oral submissions. If they haven't chosen to take the benefit of complying with your, your, the Commission's directions, then there's no written submissions. Your Honour, Mr Commissioner, you've directed it. They can come along and they can make oral submissions for 20 minutes. If they don't avail themselves of the opportunity of putting in written submissions as directed by the Commissioner, then so be it. But this can't keep going on forever because of the roadmap. That is right, uh, Consul. And I continue to emphasise on the time factor. We don't have much time to deal with issues that uh, keep on delaying uh, on this inquiry. And when directions are issued by the Commission, you have to take heed of that and put some attention to it and come out and present yourself here. And I agree, tomorrow when we come back, if we'll give the opportunity for you to give an oral submission if there is a need, or you have all, all day today up until during the night to prepare your submission. As I've said, the directions have been issued already. It's just that the failure by individual to come forward and present us. And that's the reason why I've been emphasizing all the time. We have a tendency that when something is in front of you and there's a, there's a chance that you will put it aside and you will not focus on it. And time factor becomes very, very important in this situation. And that's the reason why I've, I continue to remind everyone that you can prepare when you face the inquiry. So I will agree with the uh, council assisting that we'll hold up all the submission to tomorrow at 10 a.m. Uh, that's the direction that I'm giving. And uh, council, uh, in addition to that, what do you want me to uh, direct again, apart from the submission? Commissioner, we'll, we'll get to that. Uh, maybe towards the end of, end of the uh, today's hearing, we'll... Sorry, I can hear you. Will may, may I suggest that Commissioner make a, make a direction towards the end of uh, today's hearing about uh, submissions uh, uh, being done uh, tomorrow? Uh, right now, if I could, if we could return to the list and deal with item number. Yes, I allow that. One. You continue with the list. If uh, Mr. Oyasi could be excused. Thank you for your. Uh, attendance this morning, you can be excused from the bus then. Thank you. And uh, if I could uh, recall Mr. No Gagawa Gaigo? Yes. To attend at the bar table, thank you.
I believe uh, Mr. Kagawa's lawyer is uh, present now, so if I could allow him to enter his appearance as well. Uh, thank you. Ms. Council? Good morning, uh, Mr. Commissioner. Morning. Uh, Council's name is you have Rosberg YAGRO, initial L for the bar. Yes. I appear for him on behalf of uh, Mr. Kagawa. In the matter of the Nene uh, Hills Lorena uh, ILD Group. Uh, Mr. Commissioner, we, we have, uh, in fact, uh, filed all the relevant affidavits as well as the, uh, the submissions in compliance with the uh, directions that were issued by the Commission. And uh, in as far as uh, this matter goes, uh, I will concur with my friend to have uh, our submissions uh, be properly put before this commission tomorrow uh, in summation of uh, whatever we have uh, uh, filed in terms of the affidavits. We have in fact filed a couple of affidavits and uh, in that respect, uh, uh, my client, uh, I understand, has gone through a couple of uh, affidavits which he has been, uh, which has been uh, vigorously opposed. Uh, by the manner in which he has intended to adduce those evidences. And uh, I uh, have- Council, uh, I, I find it difficult to hear you clearly. Take time to talk and I want to hear what, what, what are you really saying? Pardon me, Mr. Commissioner. I am uh, submitting that uh, my clients have in fact filed every affidavit. Yes. And in summation of all the affidavits, we have also, in fact, filed submissions, our written submission. And we propose to go through the submission tomorrow, as uh, proposed by my friend. Yes. And in so doing, we will have those affidavits summarized properly by way of addressing the submission tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. That will be at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Mr. Commissioner, that is our position. Thank you. Thank you for your presence this morning. If you don't have any other thing to say, you can be excused from the- uh, Actually, no. Commissioner. Yes. We've uh, yet to uh, have the documents that have uh, filed to be marked for identification as agreed. Yes. So I'd like to if I could do that, uh, go through the documents again. So the first document that was filed is uh, the affidavit by No Gagawa Gaigo on the 10th of February, um, 2022. Yes. If that could be marked as LA 6.1 for identification purposes. Yes. So that's LA 6.1. The second the next document Sorry, Mr. Commissioner, C could I just respectfully suggest in terms of the identification number that perhaps the reference ID is put before LA, so it's ID identification, LA 6.1. That's the exhibit name, LA 6.1. Yeah, but be because it's going to be for identification purposes, I'm suggesting to put the letters ID before LA, so it's noted that it's for identification, Council not a formal Assist exhibit. Council Assisting, uh, what's your view on that? Uh, no problems, I uh, know. You have no problem? No. Yes, thank you. So Mr. it should be, Kibar. what you're saying, it should be stated as ID. So that, that, Correct. that, that ID would make LA. it uh, ID LA 6.1. Yes. 
IDLA 6.1. Yes. Okay, thank you. The, the next uh, document is the supplementary affidavit to the first affidavit filed on 7 December 2022. That can be marked as uh, LA, sorry, ID LA 6.2. Yes. Uh, the next affidavit or doc affidavit is uh, um, entitled as a further affidavit of No Gagawa Gaigo sworn on the 5th of December 2022 and filed on the same date. That can be marked as ID LA 6.3. Yes. And uh, the next document is a supporting affidavit by No Gagawa Gaigo. filed on the 25th of uh, November, 2022. That becomes IDLA 6.4. Yes. Next is uh, extract of submissions on evidence filed. That's the title of the document, and it's uh, dated 6 December 2022 and filed on the 7th of December 2022. If that could be marked as uh, IDLA 6.5. Commissioner, um, the next document is, applica is uh, titled Application. It's fi it was filed on the 6th of September, 2022. Uh, if that could mark as IDLA 6.6. .6. Yes. Commissioner, I trust those are all the documents on file. And if um, if if my friend could confirm that, uh, apart from the extract of submissions that they filed, there's no other additional submissions. Most documents that have been identified so far have been the only documents that have been filed so far. And that basically sums up uh, uh, my client's case for, for this matter, except that uh, we will just go through the submissions tomorrow. Thank, thank you. you. Th thank you. Uh, I think uh, that, that concludes uh, uh, today's purposes uh, in relation to item number one. Uh, maybe if a good direction could be given for the submission, this matter's submission to be um, given tomorrow at 10 a.m. And the and leave application number six be adjourned to tomorrow as well. Thank you. Mr. Commissioner. Yes. Um, could, in part of that direction, would you be prepared to direct that the submissions be limited, to oral submissions to 20 minutes as part of that direction? The console assisting. Particularly uh, since we're going to have uh, quite a number tomorrow. Uh, Twenty minutes. Suggesting the twenty-minute oral submission. That's fine. That's reasonable. Is twenty minutes max. Is comfortable with that? Council is comfortable with the twenty-minute oral submission. Council. 
Can you hear me? Yes, uh, tw uh, 20 minutes max. As Council Sissing said, 20 minutes maximum. Some might want to take less if they've already given written submissions. They might not wish to say much more, but I'm suggesting as part of the direction, a maximum of 20 minutes. Uh, Council of Sissing, I'm giving a direction here. So I, I suggest the direction be given that um, the, the, the counter who's announced his appearance be given a maximum of 20 minutes to make oral submissions tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Yes. Council, is, uh, just, uh, just a concern on that. Is the 20 minutes is uh, uh, comfortable for in terms of the timing of giving the oral submission? I mean, 20 minutes, is it enough? I, 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 I believe it is. Um, Sorry? Yes, I believe it is. You agree with that? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. We, we can work on the, uh, on the terms of the directions All right. later, but there's a, my, my position is that is we agree to the 20 minutes and maybe something to the effect that uh, all applicants shall be shall take no more than 20 minutes in making uh, their oral submissions. Uh, something to that effect. We can brush it up. Thank you, Council. I think the I think it's now settled. Uh, I give direction on the 20 minutes oral submission. Uh, Council is listening, and uh, there's other directions that I, I'll be. Giving one is to hold all the submission until tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. And to reaffirm my position on the, the documents that uh, is requested through the letter that we received by the ashes to be delivered even from now and before tomorrow. That should be delivered. Uh, we emphasize on that. So council and associate ensure that this document uh, are delivered. Council assisting, you have any other thing to say? No, Commissioner. That brings us to the end, is it? For this matter, yes. For this matter? Yeah, if uh, Mr. Do we have any other issues that need to be addressed this morning, uh, Derek, uh, Council? Thank, thank you, Commissioner. I, I would assume that Mr. Kipper is now moving to leave application number seven. Yeah. Thank you for your. If I may be but, excused, uh, Mr. Commissioner. Yes, um, you can be excused from the bus then, thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. I formally mentioned item number two yes. on the list, which is leave application number seven followed by the uh, Tatana arrival. Council representing them is here. Application number seven. Yes, Commissioner. Okay. Uh, good morning, Mr. Commissioner. For the record, Council's name is uh, John Goava. Uh, I represent the interest of the arrival Laura Bada community of Tatana Village. Mr. Commissioner, for the record, uh, we've complied with your directions, filed all the relevant affidavits, support, and the submissions last year. Uh, so we are ready to proceed further. Thank you. Thank you. Those submissions are being held up until tomorrow. Yes, yeah, and I, uh, yes, sorry, Mr. Commissioner, I know yes. that, yes, uh, but our submissions, recent submissions were filed. But you have, you have submitted your submission already? Already, uh, in December but, last year. Yes. That will be dealt with tomorrow? Yes. At I, 10 a.m.? I know that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Commissioner. Mm -hmm. Commissioner, I have before me three bound documents which were filed by the, uh, by the applicant. So the first, uh, 
first document is a submission submission dated 30 September 2022. If, uh, if that could be marked as a LA7 ID LA7.1 7.1 yes okay. ID LA7.1 thank you commissioner the next document is a uh, is in the form of a letter Letter uh, dated 24 November 2022 yes. to the Secretary of the Commission of Inquiry uh, with a number of attachments. If that could be marked as ID LA 7.2. Yes. And uh, the next document is a supplementary affidavit filed pursuant to COI direction stated Thursday 8 December 2022 yeah. by No Momoru sworn on the 8th of December 2022 and filed on the 9th of December 2022. Mr. Commissioner, it will take more than 20 minutes because Thank you. we will be relying on the written submissions that were filed. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Commissioner, I have no matters. Thank you for your attendance, and uh, you can be excused from the bus then. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Next up is uh, item number three, that is leave application number eight, uh, filed by the Inahi Incorporated Land Group. Good morning, Mr. Commissioner. Good morning. My name is Noah Rippey. Noah Rippey, yes. Yes, uh, I am a freelance consultant. Yes. I have been uh, assisted by Mr. Glenn Jerry, but uh, Mr. Glenn Jerry is national consul. He's not present. So I'm present here today. And uh, Mr. Commissioner, I was to advise the commission that uh, we have already filed what the directions were given by the commission. It's all done. We are ready to present our case. Thank you. Time is given. Thank you. Directions have been given already. Yes. We'll return back tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Thank you. Thank you. Number of documents in the, for this one, Commissioner. First uh, document is um, further submission in support of application. Sorry. Sorry, let me, sorry, let me, Application for leave to join as a party. That, that, that should be the first document. Uh, that was filed on the 3rd of October, 2022. Uh, if that could be marked as LA8, ID LA8.1. Yes. Uh, next document is further submission in support of application filed on 3rd October 2022, if that could be marked as ID LA 8.2. Then we have a document uh, entitled Relevant Laws that was filed on 8 December 2022. Uh, LA, IDLA 8.3. Yes. And then we have a, an affidavit of search by Noah Rippey. Yes. Filed 8 December 2022. Yes. LA, IDLA 8.4. Yes. 
we have uh, an affidavit by uh, John Sioni Gorgo, filed on 4 December 2022. If that could be marked as a LA, a ID LA 8.5. Um, the next document is a uh, next document is a no notice of appearance filed on four fourth December twenty twenty two. If that could be marked as LA ID LA eight point six, and then we have submission. Uh, if that could be marked, submission filed on 4th, 4th December 2022. If that could be marked as IDLA 8.7. Um, we have a document entitled The Final Summary, filed on 28th November 2022. If that could be marked as ID LA 8.8. .8. And then we have affidavit in support of Inahi Land Group submission filed on 21 October 2022. If that could be marked as a ID LA 8.9. Commissioner, those are the other documents uh, for uh, to be marked for identification. Um, if uh, leave application could be adjourned to tomorrow as well. Thank you. At 10 a.m. Yes, uh, I gave uh, direction that leave was granted. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Commissioner. Commissioner, the last matter for today's list is uh, item number four. Yes. That's uh, leave application number nine, filed by Kubu Gavra and Nomoria Hulsberg from the Laurina clan of Tatana village. Mr. Uyasi is uh, here today, so if I could ask him to return to the bar table. Uh, Mr. Komisina, I'm back again. <coughs> As already indicated to you, we'll uh, do our best to file all documents by tomorrow. Thank you. So that's all I can say at this point in time. So you be prepared when you come <coughs> here tomorrow morning at 10 a.m.? Yes, we'll do our best to. I look forward to that. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Commissioner. Can we excuse from the bus then? Uh, just, uh, Commissioner. I Here's uh, Council. I'll just uh, quickly have this documents file to be marked for identification like the others, and then we'll ca we can have, uh, we can excuse Mr. Uyasi first. Um, Commissioner, there's really only two documents, I think, on the, for this one. The first one is, is a document that's uh, headed leave applicants points. Leave applicants, sorry, leave application points. It's a, that's like a submission, but that was that was a document that was filed on the 28th of November, 2022. The
The next document is called Submission for Laurina Clan of Tatana Village Principal Landowners by Ikupu Gavera and Namuria Horsberg, nay Asigo. Yes. That's, that was filed on the 18th of October 2022. Sorry, can I, could I go back to, to the first document that I mentioned, which is leave applica application points? If that could be marked as IDLA 9.1. IDLA 9.1 and the submission for lowering the clan of Tatana village and if that could be marked as IDLA 9.2 yes you know those are the two documents uh, that filed there and uh, if uh, this Leave application could now could be adjourned to tomorrow for submissions. Thank you. Mr. Commissioner, I earlier stated that the we had already submitted uh, documentary evidence to the commission, but that was by way of a uh, flash drive. You you submitted what? By way of a uh, flash drive. Okay. <clears throat> That's why. Uh, my friend doesn't have all those documents uh, now, but we will make copies and definitely bring bring them in by tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah. You can be excused from the uh, bus stand. Um, Commissioner, um, that would mean that uh, we might have to go through the process of identifying the documents given or stored on the flash drive for marking first. Yes. To be marked for identif identification first before it's actually heard in the submissions. It's identification first. Yes, I believe so. I mean, that's the uh, course that I'm proposing. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Commissioner, we'll actually print them out and uh, identify them and bring them in. You do that? Yeah. Council, we have any other issues to deal with? Uh, no, Commissioner. Those are all the matters. Uh, That's for, all the matters. Yes, for today. I just want to recap the earlier directions that uh, we gave. The documents that requested by ashes must be delivered between now and 1606 tomorrow. Yes. Directions have been given already, but I'm just affirming what I have. Well, it's uh, effectively an extension of the direction. To, to that, so council and uh, associate ensure that this document reaches uh, us by the time. I don't need to deal with this issue again when, it, when we come back uh, on Monday to deal with this thing. The other directions have been given. We put all of all the submission until tomorrow, 10 a.m. to deal with, and as agreed by our council, we mark as ID in reference to all of that. Uh, all the directions that have been given. We have dealt with all the issues this morning is appear on the uh, daily diary and we resolve the the understanding on the the process that we need to go through and that must be followed closely the idea of doing that is that there is no controversy that arises in between I always state from the beginning that you need, this, you need to guide this commission of inquiry 
It means that we are on the same wavelength in the way the process is executed and the results come out clear so that it meets the objective of what this Commission of Inquiry relies on and that is the amended terms of reference that we are following through. We cannot go outside the terms of reference but stick within what is required of us. And that's what we're here for. And as Commissioner, I will make sure that we are within the terms of reference and we don't need to go outside of that. And that's what I'm here for and stand on that ground. Until we return back tomorrow at 10 a.m., as I said, you can now adjourn all the hearing to 10 a.m. tomorrow. Thank you.